Hello children hope all is well this is Mrs Veena TGT English from Telangana Model School Jagdevpur City Bay Today let us understand my mother a poem by Rabindranath Tagore of class 8 part reading B Let us know about the poet Rabindranath Tagore was born on May 7th 1861 to Devendranath Tagore and Sarada Devi in Calcutta, Bengal. Tagore's mother died when he was a child and his father traveled a lot. Therefore he was raised by servants. He was a poet, great philosopher, patriot, painter and humanist. He is known as Vishwakavi and Gurudev. He was the first Asian to win Nobel prize for his work Gitanjali. the song of offerings he took his early education at home but received higher education in england he was the founder of shantiniketan an experimental school each of his poem reflects indian vision and love towards motherland he left the world on 7th of august 1941 he is considered the voice of indian heritage and spirituality Now children let us read the poem my mother i cannot remember my mother only sometimes in the midst of my play a tune seems to hover over my playthings the tune of some song that she used to hum while rocking my cradle i cannot remember my mother but when in the early autumn morning the smell of the surely flowers float in the air the scent of the morning service in the temple comes to me as the scent of my mother i cannot remember my mother only when from my bedroom window i send my eyes into the blue of the distant sky i feel that the stillness of my mother's gaze on my face has spread all over the sky i cannot remember my mother only sometimes in the midst of my play a tune seems to hover over my face the tune of some song that she used to hum while rocking my cradle children let us know the new words midst meaning in the middle of hover means remain in the air hum means sing a tune with lips closed children hear the poet says in the very first line that i cannot remember my mother so the poet failed to remember his mother her face her features but in the next line he says she used to sing a song to make him sleep while rocking the cradle and that song song still hovered over his plate so whenever he look at or sees at the plating he remembers his mother's features and face so here the poet is using imagery imagery is a poetic device which imagery he is using here plating means what see he is seeing see seeing is related with the usual that is eyes so the poet has used here imagery which imagery usual imagery and sometimes she used to tune sing hum the song while rocking the cradle so what is listening to the song a tune a humming tune that is related to the imagery which imagery hearing hearing is related to the ear so here the poet has used imagery device that is visual and hearing that is eyes and ear children let us try to understand the second stanza of the poem i cannot remember my mother but when in the early autumn morning the smell of the surely flowers floats in the air the scent of the morning 
servants in the temple come to me as the scent of my mother. Children, let us know the new words. Autumn means it's a season of the summer when leaves fall from the tree. Surely means small white or orange flowers that blooms in autumn. Scent means pleasant smell or perfume. Children, here the poet is unable to recollect the scent of his mother, but he tried to recollect his mother's scent when the fragrance of shuli flowers comes from the temple. What are the shuli flowers? The shuli flowers are the flowers which bloom during the autumn season in Bengal which has a white petals and a bright orange stem which gives very strong fragrance and the poet is trying to recollect his mother's scent by smelling the incense stick scent which is coming from the temple the smell the fragrance of the flower and the fragrance of the incense which are coming from the temple reminded him his mother's scent. His mother might have used those flowers and incense sticks whenever she used to go to temple. It might have been told by his servants to him. And here the poet has used imagery. Which imagery can you tell? Yes. Here he has used the imagery of smell which is related to the nose. What are those? One is the fragrance or the smell of the shuli flower and the second is the incense stick which is used by his mother when she might have gone to this temple. So this two fragrances made him remind his mother. Now children, let us try to understand the third stanza of the poem. I cannot remember my mother only when from my bedroom window I send my eyes in the blue of the distant sky. I feel that the stillness of my mother's gaze on my face has spread all over the sky. Let us know the new words. Distant means far away in the space or time. Stillness means the absence of movement or sound. Gaze means look steadily at something or somebody. Children here, again the first line, I cannot remember my mother, shows the inability of the poet to remember the gaze of his mother. So he is saying that when he looked out from his window, into the deep, white, blue, distant sky. He could feel his mother in the sky. He might have been told that his mother is in the heaven. So he feels that his mother is in the sky and who is gazing at him. And he feels the stillness of his mother's gaze, which spreads all over the sky. So here children, can you tell me what is the imagery used by the poet here? Yes, it's a stillness. The stillness of sky can be set as an imagery, which associates with the Pego's mother gaze. So stillness is the imagery is related with what? Usual. Usual is nothing but sight and it is a eye. So which imagery he has used here? Stillness. That is related to eye. Children, let us know about the poetic devices. The poetic device used by the poet in this poem is imagery. Let us know about the imagery. 
imagery is nothing but use of usual descriptive or figurative language to represent object actions and ideas in such a way that it appeals to our senses in this poem the poet has used three senses or images they are visual oral olfactory usual visual is related to the sight or see for example the blue distant sky which is used in the third stanza which is related to the eye and playthings and mother rocking his cradle is used in the first stanza again this is also related to the eye second one oral oral is related to the ear or hearing in the first stanza if you remember the poet remembers his mother or associates his mother with the tune of song which is again related to the ear next olfactory olfactory is related to the smell which is nose okay so we can take the example of the fragments of tulip flowers the scent of morning service in the temple the scent of his mother which is in the second stanza so these all are related to the smell which is nothing but nose so how many imageries the poet has used here three okay what are those senses the senses are eyes nose and ear Now children it's time for assignment First question Write the characters involved in the poem Second Where does the action takes place in every stanza Third What is the theme of the poem Fourth How does the poet brings out his feelings towards his mother Fifth write some lovable qualities of your mother i hope all of you must have understood the poem answer the questions and that's all for today thank you